Hi guys, what's up? How are you? I hope you're okay. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Linda. I'm a pharmacist by profession. And in this channel, we just talk about health, wellness, nutrition, fitness, and everything that encompasses your health as a human being. So if you see that as a good idea, please hit the subscribe button and join the family. In today's video, I'm going to talk about something that is so personal to me and something that I experience quite often, and it's called burnout. Guys, have you ever just felt like you're so tired, you work so hard and you feel you're exhausted and you can't move on and you can't basically do anything, you just want to sleep? Let's address that. What is this burnout that I'm talking about? So burnout is just a state of exhaustion. You're exhausted physically, mentally, emotionally. You just feel exhausted. And it's characterized by three things. One, you have the exhaustion. So you're always just feeling tired, tired, tired. Eh, there's some there's some time that just comes and i feel like i'm so tired there's nothing i can do and i'm always complaining to my co-workers nime choka nime choka and they're always just tired of hearing my complaints every now and then anyway it's normal so you don't even feel like waking up from the bed when monday reaches you're just like oh god not again am i going to like you feel so so tired that you're even drained your energy levels are drained and then number two sign is irritability or cynicism so um it reaches a point where you now you're just so exhausted and lethargic and then you just start becoming negative have you ever had those negative co-workers like you talk to them hmm, they're just always negative always negative and a kurushia maneno and stuff then you're just like what is happening to this person who's always negative so Maybe they should they could be having burnout or other issues and then you don't even know. Then number three now it affects your productivity. So normally you do a tasking, for example, one week or one day or something of the sort, but now you're just taking forever to do the task. Or you don't even have psych to do that task at all. So those are the three characteristics or three symptoms to watch out for when you actually thinking about burnout and then there's some other things that i can actually add like one you always carry alcohol to work or you're smoking at work in order to get rid of that feeling so you're trying to hide behind alcohol use alcohol now i'm going to a very small bottle or your water bottle and then you sneak in some alcohol inside i know some people for sure do that but not at my workplace anyway if my boss is watching no one does thing about burnout you'll always feel demotivated like hmm, i'm not fit for this job this job is too much uh i don't think i can do this work anymore i just wanna quit what what so you're just not feeling motivated to do anything so that is burnout and there's usually a burnout questionnaire you can find it online there are two sites i'll link i'll link them down in the description box so that you can go check out and go do that Test. there's some questions actually i can just like show you you can just go to those questions answer and then there's a scale there's a scale and the interpretation once you're done it will tell you whether you're burnout or not or whether you're tending towards burnout or not so those are the symptoms and signs to check out for so that you know that hey i'm tending towards burnout now that we've talked about the signs and symptoms let us talk about now how to get rid of burnout so there's very easy ways you can actually do in order to get rid of this burnout one when you're feeling all that lethargic and everything it's okay to take leave that is why we usually have the annual leave so if you feel that way please say, take some time off work just apply for your leave go on a holiday do something interesting with your life and also sometimes all you need is just to sleep number two so make sure you get enough rest Please, if, even if it means that like coming from work and then sleeping or just taking a few days off to sleep, sis, bro, you need that in order to survive this thing called burnout. Another thing that you can do is actually exercise yoga and meditation. This really helps a lot and it will help you to get rid of all your stress and everything. Have a well-balanced diet. So diet is everything. It can help you to control your mood, especially things that are rich in omega-3 fatty acids. They really help with your mood and yeah you'll be okay so i think that is how you can deal with burnout exercise yoga meditation 
and then just get enough rest get enough sleep and you'll be good so if you're experiencing burnout or if you've ever experienced burnout let me know in the comment section and let me know how you're able to handle it because yeah it's normal especially right now where everyone is trying to do everything to make ends meet people are susceptible to burnout and thing is it's okay to feel tired it's okay to take a rest it's okay to take leave from work do not feel guilty it's okay to just sleep the whole day it's okay to take a rest so i hope that if you have burnout right now you'll be able to actually follow these tips that i've given you and get better so yeah i'll see you on my next video and please take care of yourselves and until next time bye